I know some people out there are desperately trying to take the Crypto Bro moniker and apply it to AI as some sort of insult, but ChatGPT and other similar tools are basically here to stay. Whether we're talking about text generation, art generation, video generation, music generation, or anything else that might happen into the future, even though I really think they have serious copyright implications, there's no stopping them right now. And assuming you're using them for what they're good at, they're great tools. The problem is they're very easy to misuse. And please, for the love of God, there is one use case for these tools that I really hope doesn't catch on and goes away as quickly as it arose. During my search for video topics on forums, subreddits, things like that, I've been seeing the rise of a new kind of application. An application that helps you write your git commit messages. It does it by using chat GPT. One such example of this is this one here. Chat GPT commit message hook. This is by no means the only one out there and I'm not trying to single out this developer. I'm sure they do great work and I'm not trying to discredit the work they've done on this project. I'm sure they only have the best of intentions. But I would heavily caution against using a project like this or any of the others out there outside of personal projects or projects that are basically already a mess. If the git commit messages don't mean anything anyway, it's just a giant wall of changes made, updates done, changes added. In that case, sure, it's probably better. But in a project that wants a good history, do not use these tools. But with all that being said, it might not seem entirely clear why you shouldn't use it. Whilst not perfect, ChatGPT is mostly great at understanding the code that has been written. Most of the time, assuming the code block isn't way too big with way too many esoteric libraries, it can give a reasonable description of what that code is doing. You don't even have to try it with any of these helper tools, just go to ChatGPT directly, dump in a function, dump in a file, and just see what it does, ask it to describe it, and it should be able to do a pretty good job. And with the exception of maybe modifying the prompt a bit, this tool and many of the others are doing pretty much the same thing on the back end. So the demonstrations shown by this and many of the others are pretty good at describing what the code is doing. But that's the problem. That is not the point of a git commit message. So this sort of takes us back to the last Linus Torvalds rant video I did. We can very easily see what changes were made. We can look at the commit, we can look at the patch and see, okay, that change was made, that change is made, we added this, we removed that. Okay, makes sense. But it's not the optimal use of that real estate. A much better explanation for the commit is why. Why was this done? Yes, it's useful to explain what is being done so you can actually like easily search through it, but why was this commit made? Okay, you added this new function to, I don't know, add a new user record into the database. Why? What purpose does that have? Why was the old solution not good enough? What reason does your code have for existing besides wanting to write more code? Or put a bit more coherently, what problem is this commit attempting to solve and why does this commit exist? And without a doubt, if you asked it, I'm sure ChatGPT could give you some nonsense explanation about why this commit needs to exist. But a wrong explanation is kind of worse than none whatsoever. It leads you in the completely wrong direction. And there is simply not enough data in the changes that are being made to give you a good answer here. You'd need at a minimum, bare minimum, the context of the whole function, the whole file, maybe the whole project. 
And unless that project is really small, like, you know, a 500 line script, today, ChatGPT simply cannot handle that. But even then, with that context, it still probably cannot give you a good reason why this needs to exist. It doesn't have the context of the mailing list, the issue tracker, some discussion on IRC, a CVE documented outside of the project. All of these things in different contexts are going to be really important. Now that isn't to say that you couldn't feasibly build a custom model or feed the information into ChatGPT in such a way that it can properly parse it and give you an explanation for why this commit needs to exist. But when we're talking about doing that, it's like spending 10x, 100x the time just to write something that would take, you know, a minute, two minutes, five minutes to do at absolute max. And the other problem is even if you can structure this data in a way that's actually going to be possible and actually going to be usable by the model, which by itself is already going to be a massive challenge, especially with how much data we are actually considering, there's no guarantee that the result you're going to get is going to make any sense. And as I established earlier, you don't want to have an incorrect commit message. This is worse than having none whatsoever. Now, that's not to say that AI, machine learning, whatever you want to call it, doesn't have a place in writing the, you know, extra things involved with your code. One place it might make sense is with documentation. Here is a place where you do kind of want to explain you know, how what is being done is actually being done. The purpose of in-code documentation is to take the code that's there and put it into a format that is a bit more human readable. Sure, you can go and read the code, but having that explanation there is probably going to be helpful as well. The issue here is the same issue with letting it just go and blindly write commit messages. What it's going to write may or may not be incorrect. So... I would highly recommend that if you are going to be using ChatGPT or other tools that come out into the future for doing this, don't blindly accept the results. Use it in the way that a lot of artists have started using AI art. Generate the thing and then touch it up in a way that makes it make a bit more sense. I'll say it one last time. Bad or out-of-date documentation is kind of worse than having none whatsoever. It sends you down a path that is going to lead to impossible results and just waste your time. Having no path whatsoever at least saves you a couple of minutes of exploring something that is completely impossible. Right now, we are entering a golden age of AI and machine learning. It's still Fairly early on, tools are drastically changing around us, and it seems like a lot of these new tools that are coming out can be incredibly useful and seem like they can basically do anything. But that's not really the case. They have a limited set of capabilities that they are really good at, and for other things, at least for now, should probably be avoided and commit messages are definitely one of those. But I am speaking about this from March 14th, 2023. And as we've seen from the AI art space, things are changing really, really quickly. So maybe by this time next month, next year, whenever you see this, everything has changed and none of what I said is true anymore. I hope that's the case. I want to do less work, less work sounds great, but let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Do you care about this tooling that's coming out? Do you think it's a fad? Do you think it's just going to go away? What do you think? I would love to know. So if you like this video, I'm going to go and like the video, and if you really like the video and you want to become one of these amazing people over here, check out the Patreon, Scribe, Sully, Bureau, Pay linked down below. That's going to be it for me, and... This video is made by ChatGPT.